the Prince of Wales made his first royal appearance yesterday since the Duke of Edinburgh's death on April 9. Charles and Camilla, the Duchess of Cornwall, visited Marlborough House Gardens to view moving tributes from well wishes. Charles appeared to be close to tears as the royals inspected tributes and flowers. Sources close to Charles have said he is deeply sad about his father's death. They told The Telegraph, just because you know a family member is not well does not mean it is any easier when the time comes. A day after the Duke of Edinburgh's death, Charles made a touching statement about dear papa, at Highgrove, his Gloucestershire estate. He said, as you can imagine, my family and I miss my father enormously. He was a much loved and appreciated figure and apart from anything else, I can imagine, he would be so deeply touched by the number of other people here and elsewhere around the world and the Commonwealth, who also I think, share our loss and our sorrow. My dear papa was a very special person who I think above all else would have been amazed by the reaction and the touching things that have been said about him and from that point of view we are, my family, deeply grateful for all that. Following Philip's death, Hello Magazine's royal editor Emily Nash told USA Today Charles is stepping up into the role of family patriarch. She said, it's a big moment for the family. Prince Charles is stepping up into the role of family patriarch now. I think we will see him taking on more and more of the family responsibilities that his father took charge of in the past. So it is big moment for him. Philip's funeral plans have been shared. Charles, Princess Anne, Prince Andrew and Prince Edward will walk behind the Land Rover carrying Philip's coffin. Prince William and Prince Harry, separated by Princess Anne's son, Peter Phillips, will then follow behind. A Buckingham Palace spokesman said, at its heart, it is still a family event. We are following the COVID guidelines. There was a limit on who could be invited as a guest and Her Majesty wanted to ensure that all branches of the Duke's family were there, and had to make some very difficult decisions about who would be there.